Another thing about the writer's strike really fast, Ellen was supposed to do shows in New York. Yeah. Because she, you know, she crossed the yeah, line. And she's or, not doing it now. And now she's not. She's staying in L.A. Oh, really? Why do you think that is? Because she knows the reception. She gets Oh, they already said they're going to protest so the outside uh, where she's doing yeah, her And I don't know. I have mixed feelings about it because uh, I think part of it is, again, they can't. you can't really say F the companies because yeah. you're going to need to work with them again. So they just found somebody that says, it's her! Because she's, she's not, yeah. she has nothing to, she's not, uh, uh, we're not negotiating with her. She's not keeping our residuals back. Is she wrong, She just though? B- reported or, to work. That's all she did. <laughs> reported to a job that she wasn't on strike for. Is she wrong to do it, or is she as a producer? It's complicated, because uh, Jay Leno is being a hero, uh, because his show is run by writers. Her, her show is up against shows that don't have writers. So, like, Jay goes off the air, so does Dave, everybody's happy, and sitting with Jimmy Kimmel. But the shows that she's up against, Oprah, all those other shows, they don't have writers, so they can stay on the air. And her show is writer-driven, um, and also because it's syndicated. But, you know, she kind of should not be working. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. You know, because when she complains about this is what would happen to my show, yeah, well, that's what everybody's risk is. Jay Leno's whole staff is getting fired. Yeah. Everybody's losing their jobs because of this. It's it's sacrifice. Wait, but, they're getting fired? Like- but I don't think it's as simple as that. The thing is that Ellen is uh, not a popular person. She's kind of a rotten, uh, <laughs> smelly, awful, <laughs> She sucks stinky, when I met her. Uh, is she uh, not a nice lady? Idiot. She's no. she's. I wish we were on XM so I could describe her completely. Of course, but I can't. Wait, what have you heard? The FCC cannot uh, would not let her be um, described. accurately described. This is interesting. <laughs> no. It would be like if a cop said who shot you and it was hard. He'd be like, you got to take me off the air because I can't. Yeah. I can't tell you. <laughs> Jimmy met her in Vegas, so this is really interesting because he got the big blow off. She was doing something for XM, and we were out there for XM. So I was like, I was like, ah, I walk up, and she's being filmed. I'm like, hey, I was, you know, I get my picture with everybody. It's just what I do. It's you didn't game. get a picture with me. I've met you twice now. Well, yeah, but I, I, you, I'm too nervous to ask. Okay. So I walked up to, uh, <laughs> I walked up to Ellen, and I'm like, hey, you know, I'm a comic. I'm also doing something with XM. I just wanted to get a quick picture. She's like, oh, no, I can't. I'm in the middle of shooting. and she, But she wasn't, and I wanted to spit in her face. Yeah, she's really... I um, good trashing, if that's any consolation. Good for she's, you. I know people that work for her as writers, and she's, yeah, she's... Uh, She's a, a dope and uh, mean to people. Oh, easy like on that. the language. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, she's, she's a spoil sport. She's <laughs> a real ninny. She's a right <laughs> rotter, isn't she? Yeah. Yes, she's a right rotter. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's yeah. a... Yes, most definitely. They went to commercial I was reading recently, and she yelled at her writers, why did you write that for me? Yeah, she's uh, really got wow. gowns of... Yeah, that had made the press last week. Was, was she a good stand-up in a day? Yes, I think was she was a good stand-up. Say? She was a good yes. stand-up. Okay. She was fine. She was all right. I know she never made me laugh, really. But but uh, because she's got that way about her... Um, well, being a lezer. Well, no, not that one. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Who cares about that? But the fact that she has this sort of MO uh, means that people pile it on. Yeah. So it's like, oh, look at her working. She shouldn't be working. And whatever, that story. You know what? I've had a show where I had writers, and I, often I'd look at them and say, you guys stink, and I hate you. <laughs> so I, the, the stories about how tough she is on the writers, that I take with a grain of salt because well, I guess this was... there's, there's a natural, you know, you got to crack the whip. And also this, mm-hmm. there's a natural thing where the person who's on camera uh, is taking the hits for bad jokes. But would you do it in front True, of a live yeah. audience? What's that? Would you do it in front of a live audience? Oh, uh, no, I, never. I think that's what the story was oh, really? about. Yeah, she did a joke and it sucked. And she goes, why would you write that for me? And she was dead serious. Well, I don't know. While they were in break. Yeah, no, she sucks. You had good writers on Lucky Louie, man. Every one of them. They were funny, man. Yeah. Hey, what do you call uh, lesbians in Australia? Uh, stiff tongues. Stiff really? tongues. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. I, the Radar Online saga goes, I hope he, uh, the, the greatest thing ever would be if the kid uh, writes that Gilbert actually said all that. About oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she is, in fact, a cunt. Yes. <laughs> well, that's a rule. I did, that is true about Ellen DeGeneres. She is supposed to be a tyrant. Uh uh, on that, with the people who work on that, so I've known a couple of writers, uh, guy writers, who she just like emasculated because of that anger, and uh, you know, but just like it doesn't even matter, like the key grip she would yell at and get, you know. And, and remember when she had that TV show where she would go on a date with a different guy? Yeah, oh, yeah. And it you... was called Insane Bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Well, she had the sitcom for a while. Yeah, that was such but, but, listen, a horrible. Sitcom. Again, again, yeah. she she did the thing where again nobody shows the emperor's clothes here. She became a big deal. Because she came out 
on her fucking sitcom that was yeah. tanking. She had a sitcom that was tanking. Yeah. So at some point they get together with her agents and whoever and go. We Look, got nothing. No, we got nothing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The the original goal was to write funny things that you would say funny on a show. That's not working. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, okay. The show sucks. <laughs> Going you, off the air. Right, and you suck on it. Yeah, we might as well go for bro. Right, so what yeah. we're going to do is we're going to take a slice of life, a slice of yeah, real life, yeah. and you're going to come out on the show. And if the timing's perfect, you're, you're going to get these. No one's going to, believe me, we're not going to make the show funny. That's impossible. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, what we're going to get. That, we, that we were dead coming in. <laughs> yeah, that was it. Yeah. Uh, as soon as we found that, you were the Ellen in the title. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't Ellen Burstyn. <laughs> but we found out that the Ellen in the title, uh, in the in the sitcom Ellen, was you. Yeah. We knew that being knew, funny yeah. was we, something. We knew that, comedy was just, <laughs> just a utopian way goal. Of, like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, beyond our grasp. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're talking like flying car shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone actually said before we'll see a black president before you're funny and that has happened uh, I, I do think you'll get funny before a Jewish president <laughs> But so 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 she yeah they said we're gonna say you're coming out of the closet we're gonna leak to the press that uh, you know uh, surprise surprise Ellen is gay uh, and um, you're going to come out on your show. And But before we do it, let me practice my shocked face. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me do a spit take. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm almost as shocked as this as when Rosie O'Donnell came out of the closet. <laughs> I, I still can't believe again, it. Again, as shocking as you coming out, it's not as shocking as you saying something funny. Yeah. <laughs> So what we're going to do is we're going to, in fact, have you come out and perhaps people laugh at that, at it, you know, not with it, at it. And uh, you'll get. And again, you know, we're goofing, but that's exactly what it, what they hoped would happen. And it did. She got, you know, cut, so brave. And then all these actresses wanted to be on this show. Right. They knew it was in the news. Exa the exactly. They wanted, you know, they wanted to look like, OK, we uh, were, were sympathetic. Uh, you know, towards all this, and we're, we're friends with Ellen. And that kept the show on way longer than it, oh, it was going to well, be. Look at, and then you got people like, uh, what was the name of that actress who pretended that she was uh, gay to date her for a while so she, she could get famous? Oh, Anne Hayes. Oh, yeah, Anne yeah, yeah. So then you get really, really evil people like that in Hollywood, where Anne Hayes will actually, you know, pretend she's gay. She clearly wasn't. Uh, and and she, you know, to become famous, she literally held her breath and buried her face. <laughs> and Ellen DeGeneres was pussy for four years to get famous. And when she when she came up for air, she was in a Robert De Niro movie. That's what happens. That's fucking Hollywood, man. It worked for her, but then she went crazy. I think even she like goes, "Wow, what did I do?" You yeah. know. And uh, she was wandering. Was she wandering around backyards? Uh, oh Hayes, yes, remember that? yes, yeah. yes. And I, I was like. You know, you, you bury your face in her pussy for four years and see, <laughs> see if you're not wandering around with a weird look on your face. So, uh, yeah, so stuff like that happened. And uh, and this portion of the Ross, it was smoking hot, by the way. And then, you know, and she, she parlays that into this talk show where now she can do no wrong because now she has sympathy. She cuts the hair. And, uh, you know, she looks like Neil Patrick Harris's uh, butchy brother. And, and when... You know, when when that Kate when she came out, she was still going with Anne Hayes. Right. And both of them are the toast of the town. <laughs> they are exactly. They're, yeah. they're getting movie and TV offers. Wag, she's they're, in De Niro, Wag the dog, the Nero yeah. movie she's in. Yeah. And but meanwhile, at the same time, they're playing up how both of them are these blacklisted people <laughs> that they're facing the worst challenge yeah. of their lives. That is the, yeah. worst, that is the worst thing uh, 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 
especially in comedy, uh, Hollywood can do is is say something is brave when it's the easiest fucking oh, yes. thing in the world. Like you know, a black comic doing a, a saying the N word in a bit is not brave. Yeah, you know, Michael Richards was brave. Yeah, <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> but I'm saying, you know, it's, it's, it's they do the same thing with the you know a gay woman, go, and it's great. God, it's, it's awesome that we're we're there, but don't. Uh, don't fucking piss in my face and tell me it's, you know, it's... Uh, it's that it's shit on a plane. <laughs> don't shit on a plane. Don't, don't piss on a plane and tell me it's shit on a plane. <laughs> so she basically, she, she, she parlayed and she's got like a billion dollars now on a talk yeah, show. And that was the thing. Like, they would say we were, you know, they would play them up as the struggling blacklisted people right. and and we interviewed her on the set of her latest movie <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 right. I know exactly she's in a movie uh, but uh, you know it it, it it really is disgusting I and mean, you had to watch Ellen DeGeneres uh, th th then what happens is she gets so much sympathy and she's so sort of it's so politically incorrect to make fun of her that whatever she does is great so that's how you get like okay she dances in a monologue and it's brilliant because people are afraid to make fun of her people are afraid to say anything oh, she does is bad and I remember they were talking on some special about Ellen DeGeneres how she hosted the Emmys after <laughs> September 11th <laughs> like there's a billion people in show business that would have blown anybody right. to host uh, if, the Emmys. Yeah, especially after 9-11. You know, yes. you, know, you, you could do no wrong. And 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 I remember Anne Hayes said, uh, Ellen saved the world that day. <laughs> I said, uh, excuse me, how exactly? <laughs> I think I thought the interviewer should have said, okay, stop, stop. Yeah. Uh, Anne, would you Ex mind going into detail? <laughs> Explain how what, she fucking saved the earth? <laughs> Explain what the fuck you just said. Yes. <laughs> like, the only way for a comic to, to insult people and not get good press after 9-11 is if at a roast you say, I'll have a one-way ticket to the Empire State. Yes. <laughs> Which, uh, which uh, a roast me and Gilbert were on uh, three weeks after 9/11. Uh, the uh, you have to roast for uh, and I, and I, uh, I I'm I I did I'm the comic right before Gilbert the aristocrat. <laughs> So I, I leave, I sit down, Gilbert comes up, and that's a, that's a joke he does. Yeah, I... I In the said, grand ballroom of... I, the, I, I have to... It was like a day after September 11th. It, it felt like it. Yeah, it might and, and uh, yeah, I said, I have to leave early tonight. I have to fly to L.A. I couldn't get a direct flight. We have to make a stop at the Empire State Building. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody reacted, but it's so funny. You have her seven blonde girlfriends were in the front, and you could see them all looking at each other going what what does that mean <laughs> none of them I, i'm not even kidding i looked at them none of them knew what the fuck we were talking about. <laughs> so great so, and like you like you see them going too soon too soon yeah why is ellen fucking dressed like fucking Lor uh, 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 um, laurel that's fucking has issued a required <laughs> monthly test <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> Oh, what is she wearing? Yeah, what's an the open hell is... shirt with a tie like a fucking businessman on her way home? They Oof. haven't figured out uh they haven't figured out lesbian wear. I, how about lesbians just dressed like girls? I mean you love pussy, no. what's the matter with you? That that tie is to wipe her chin. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like Gordon Gecko. <laughs> she has a SWAT vest on. Yeah. Yeah. How's anyone supposed to suck fucking your tits? Kevlar. Right. They make it so hard to get at the goodness, these lesbians. So like she's having a face x-ray taken and she's protecting Dude. her tits. Dude, <laughs> Ellen she does the same fucking dance. She doesn't want to dance. Yeah, it's the same stupid dance. The company know Look what they're her. doing though. Now they they show the song that they're uh, dancing to. The name just it's like it's sponsored. Like it's an MTV video. The name, the artist, all that crap, and how you could get it. There should be oh. a bunch of fucking writers' contracts. She, she should be dancing on them. Look Oof. at her fucking. Good she point. looks like a man. She is. She just absolutely is a man. It's and fucking, that was not a man. It's Lance Kerwin, dude. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> nice shoes, cunt leopard. <laughs> ah, what is she doing? She's like fucking her coffee table. She got those stupid bowling shoes on, which is what she does when she has balls. She throws them far away from her and on the floor. <laughs> she tries to knock over those ugly cocks at the end of the thing. <laughs> she loves to bowl. Mr. Generous, you don't have to yell yuck and spit on the ball when you throw it. We get the picture. <laughs> and the, the fuck, you know the thing that blows air on your fingers? She probably licks the holes there. <laughs> oh, look, it's queefing and knocks the Doritos off my mouth. <laughs> Old Dorito lips. <laughs> the fucking choker with that tie. Fuck you and fuck Iggy in the mouth. What do you think of them apples? <laughs> fucking box smeller. <laughs> you fucking, fucking strike fucking picket line crossing fucking fucking memory lover <laughs> fuck you and your fucking Laurel and Hardy tie <laughs> this is a fine this is a fine clit hood you've got us into <laughs> okay I'm stopping up <laughs> instead of night at the races pussy on the faces <laughs> he's not as Marx Brothers I don't know any Laurel and Hardy movies <laughs> but, but I don't have any hair pie <laughs> <laughs> Your breath smells like a California roll. <laughs> you fucking picket line crosser. Uh, she bugs me. You fucking cranky bitch. That shitty Dutch boy hairdo. She should be sitting on a paint can. Fucking fuck you in your shiny jeans. Jim, someone's asking me, asking me if uh, Ellen likes uh, pussy. No, she doesn't like pussy. Oh, she doesn't. She loves it! <laughs> she waves it under her nose like one does a pumpkin pie on Thanksgiving. Oh, God uh, damn. <laughs> but that will see you guys tomorrow, I guess. Yes, we yes. will. Oh, Ellen goes trick-or-treating this week. Oh, does she? Yeah, she's going to open her bag from door to door, hope someone throws a cunt in. <laughs> Do you, have a, do you have a Hershey's cunt? <laughs> That's a bunch of kisses shaped like a fucking gaping hole <laughs> with a fucking chunky bar clip. <laughs> Could you smash my face with that? <laughs> I'd like a Hershey chunky cunt, please. Would you? <laughs> just dump fucking, just dump sardine oil into her bag, tell her to put it on her head. <laughs> Fucking stupid she is. We get it. She's a dyke. I know. How many, way, how many ways can I spin that? How many more fucking funny vagina things can we throw into the bag? I had it with cunt and I got greedy. We get it. They smell like fish. Hey, maybe she can go from door to door and get a taco thrown in with a salmon wrapped in it. Hey, you know, how's, how's your uh, bearded taco doing? <laughs> I left, I left some uh, potato flakes on. Huh? <laughs> hey, sort of beer and taco, any potato flakes there? <laughs> what? <laughs>